What's up guys, it's Andre with Apollo Automation again, here for another tutorial video. Uh, this time we're gonna be covering your first automation with the MSR1 and Home Assistant. Um, admittedly, I'm pretty new to Home Assistant and using the MSR1, so this has sort of been a learning process for me. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys out, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your Home Assistant dashboard. I've got mine right here. And then we are going to go into settings and we can either go, there's two ways to do this. I'm just gonna go into devices and services, devices, and then find my Apollo MSR1 here. Click that. And this will be your little dashboard for that. You click the plus sign next to automations here. And then this will give you uh, do something when, and then it'll give you kind of all of these options here. It's a little bit overwhelming, but in this case, we're going to keep it simple. What we're going to do is we're going to have the radar module turn on the RGB LED when it detects motion. So we're going to select radar moving target started detecting motion. Click that, take you to this screen here. We're going to add an action. So we'll click action. We're going to do device. And we'll go here, select the Apollo MSR1. And it actually selected this by default. Actually, this is set to turn off. So we're gonna switch that to turn on. And we can set it to flash. We can set brightness levels. So I'm just gonna set 100 as the brightness level. Save it and we can name it. Let's just say radar LED on, save. And what you can do to quickly make it so that it turns off when it doesn't detect motion above that threshold is you can actually duplicate this. So you'll go up here and hit duplicate. This will bring up a, a copy of that automation. And then you can change this. So you can actually change this trigger to radar moving target stop detecting motion. And then you'll change this to turn off the Apollo MSR1 RGB light. And you can save this and you will save it as radar RGB off. And then save it. And then now we're gonna test it. So now if you want to test this, other than visually testing it, you can actually pull up the logbook, which will be on the left side of the screen here. And it'll actually give you a readout of everything going on in Home Assistant. But in this case, for me, it's just the MSR1. And so if I move, it'll trigger it. And then if I hold still, it'll turn it off. So we know that it's working based on the logbook. And then we can actually check it visually here in just a second. So as you can see right now, it is not in a triggered state. I'm going to walk into the room and it should go off. So one of the other cool things you can do, and this is not specific to the MSR1, uh, you can do it with Home Assistant uh, with a multitude of devices, is you can actually kind of piggyback automations on top of each other. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually um, set it so that whenever the LED is on on the MSR1, it turns on a uh, ring light. So we're going to go here and we're going to set it so that whenever the RGB light is turned on, we're going to turn a device. In my case, it is a smart plug, third reality. We're going to turn on the switch. And then we'll just set this to ring light on RGB light on. And then we'll duplicate it like we did before as a nice little shortcut. And we can change this so that when the RGB light is turned off, it will turn off the smart plug. We 
can just name it. That. And so now we're going to test that visually. So what you guys are going to see now is that whenever the MSR1's light turns on, the ring light on the left is going to also turn on. So let's give it a wave. Another wave. Another wave. So, yeah, they work. All right, that was your first ever automation with the MSR1. Uh, if it was helpful, please like and get subscribed if you want to see more like it. There's more coming, and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.